Hello everyone, welcome to another special session on SQL Server, SQL queries. We are learning with Dave Killer. So today, uh, what we are going to do is, we're going to learn about the difference between select into and insert into statements in SQL. So very quickly, I'll take you there. So the difference between the select into is that it creates the table and shifts the con selected con columns and rows. Insert into moves the selected columns and rows into already existing table. Into already existing table. I've written on data. It's already existing table. So select in into would create the table, whereas insert into would only be passing the values. So coming back to the SQL query, I've just created three tables. But uh, let me just get rid of them very quickly. So very quickly, I created the first table with the row number and the student name. And when I refresh, I get that table here. So then I insert the value and select. So I've inserted the value and in the select, I can see all the five values there. After this, I will be saying select star into student TV2 from student. So this will be putting the value into student two and it will be creating the student TV, TV2. So if I refresh it and go into the tables, I will have the student TV2. And it will have all the values which was there in the student table earlier. Now, uh, I'll, I'll try to insert, run the insert command, and it will give me an error that the table doesn't exist, which is invalid object name student db2, db3, sorry. So I will create the table db3 with the same pattern that we have in uh, for student db. db. And then I will run this command and this will insert five rows here. So if when I just select it, it shows me that the five rows are there. So the difference that I wanted to highlight here was that select and into would be creating the four rows, creating the tables, whereas the insert into will not be creating the tables, will not be creating the table for us. So uh, with that, that was the only thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, so we come to the end of the session so I thank you thanks for listening and learning with me I hope we have moved a bit forward in our learning to contact me write in YouTube comments or email uh, me on devklearning at gmail.com so good day bye